top six aircraft to be added in the Benelux subtree for France if the leak is correct. Hello guys, once again it's Matt, thank you all the members and patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So, if you didn't watch it, uh, my previous video, uh, the Chinese leaker that normally is correct, about 70 to 80% of the stuff that he leaks in each list and normally gets almost everything right, uh, just leaked that um, Gaijin is actually going to uh, do kind of a subtree for Benelux, which is basically uh, Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, for France, basically a subtree for aircraft there. Uh, or something along those lines at least, right? So if that is correct, what are the top six aircraft that I think we will uh, have to have in the future or right now, depending on the performance of the aircraft, uh, to be added in that subtree? So um, let's start with the top six, the final one, the Hawker Seahawk Mark 50. This would be a very interesting aircraft. It's the Dutch Navy's um, aircraft, uh, basically an export model of the in-game already FGA-6 Seahawk, right, for the British Tech Tree, and it was actually used in the Karel Doorman carrier, which is for me very cool, personally, because that ship is actually a sister ship to the Minas Gerais, which is a carrier that my country, Brazil, used during the Cold War, so... Uh, yeah, this aircraft actually has a pretty interesting history behind that, right? But yeah, it's a Seahawk, nothing too crazy, unguided stuff, uh, obviously bombs, um, cannons, and of course rockets, but also M9Bs as well, very similar to something like the, um, the German one, actually, uh, the premium German one, I think it's premium, right? Uh, but yeah, the one that you probably cannot buy anymore, I don't think, but still, um, yeah, this would be the, the sixth. Uh, the fifth one would be a Canadair NF-5A. This is a Freedom Fighter actually designed by Canadair, technically. I mean, it's a Canadair F-5, but at the same time, uh, it is just a Freedom Fighter built in the Netherlands. So there is basically a copy-paste F-5 over here, nothing too crazy. It would be very similar to the F-5A, as I said. Uh, but, of course, with the different skins and stuff, the missiles would be the normal weapons, of course, the M39s, the bombs, rockets, everything like that. But the missiles would be between the M9B, of course, and the P variant. Uh, so, yeah, nothing too crazy about this aircraft, but it would be cool to see uh, an F5 there. I mean, it's a very standard aircraft. Is it, you know, fair to actually add an F5 to France? I don't know, you tell me, but still. Then we go finally for a French aircraft in 4th position that I put it, the Mirage 5BA with the Mir Sip upgrade. This is a, an aircraft that was not really, uh, it didn't really enter in service in the uh, Belgian Air Force, but uh, it's still a very interesting aircraft, right? It's basically a Mirage 5 for Belgium, but this version specifically received an upgrade that included, of course, a more modern cop cockpit, a new ejection seat, a laser rangefinder uh, for the uh, air-to-ground calculations, of course, and canards, which are to be improving the takeoff performance and overall maneuverability. So it would be very similar, like really, really similar to something like a Kafir, but with their own versions of uh, of these systems and you know the canards and stuff. So it would be an interesting aircraft. Nothing too crazy, but. Uh, it, it's a cool variant of the Mirage. Then we go for the top three, guys. On third position, I added the F-16A Block 1. Yes, Belgium was actually one of the first countries to actually start using the original F-16s, right? And the Block 1 was actually used very early with even some pictures showing the black nose onto it, which was added very initially on the Block 1 models, right? This is a very, very early model of the F-16, even earlier than the Block 5 that we have already in the game, or the Block 10, sorry. And, um, yeah, no radar missiles, uh, it's an old version of the APG-66, uh, maybe only A9Ps, uh, maybe not even a, an all-aspect version of the A9P, and it would be cool to have this as a lower BR, like F-16, to be kind of a, a, a super F-5 or something, right? So it would be very cool to see that uh, we never got a very, very, very early F-16. The earliest that we got is the Block 10, which has already many modifications done to it, right? Uh, on second place, I added the F-16, another F-16, but now for the Netherlands, for the Dutch Air Force, 
as the AM version, uh, basically an OCU 15 or a Block 15 with the OCU model, uh, but eventually it got the midlife upgrade done to it. So it would be very, very similar to like the MLU that we have in Taiwan, right? The Block 20, it would be really, really close to that. The only main difference that they can add here, if they want to, is actually add the Fox 3 missiles over here. It would be one of the only aircraft in that subtree to actually receive a Fox 3 missile, right? So, uh, for, at least for now, right? So, um, yeah, to have an AIM-120 there, if they want to, the F-16 AM would have to be added, right? And then the first one, an aircraft that should not be added right now, but it has a place in the future, and to be honest, it would actually help the French Tech 3 once we get to those positions. And that is the F-35. Yes, the F-35 is used by the Dutch Air Force, and um, they, I mean, even Belgium bought some that I don't think they received yet. I have to check, but still. Uh, the F-35, as you know, stealth air aircraft, you know, it's basically the new F-16 of the fifth generation, right? It's an aircraft that everybody is buying, everybody is... Um, doing stuff with it and the F-35 would be a very standard aircraft throughout the whole tech tree, right? It, it would be uh, an aircraft that uh, a lot of nations would have it and having that um, in the French tech tree might have its pluses because of course the Rafale is the maximum that they would have in performance and of course that aircraft, although very close to a fifth generation in some regards, it's not really a fifth generation like a F-35, right? So uh, that would help in the far future, far, I mean, far future, the French Tech 3, okay, guys? And, of course, uh, some bonus um, is that there would be a lot of copy-paste, guys. Even already, we added a lot of copy-paste in these top 6, because there is, I, I was go actually going to do a top 10, but the thing is that there's so many copy-paste that I, there wasn't really a reason why I would just add m four more copy-paste vehicles, right? So, just as an honorable mention, there are some other cool aircraft that could be added with different hunters, for example, the F-4 and F-5 were used, uh, the F-84s were used by them, uh, by the Nether Nether Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken, other Mirages were used by the Belgians, uh, F-16s, F-16Bs, for example, or just a normal OCU Block 15, uh, to be at 0 maybe could be added other F5s like an F5B or something like that with a be placed version of an aircraft. So there are many many honorable mentions that I can say here, but they would be just copy pastes of vehicles that we already uh, have in the game. Okay guys, so basically this is it. Let me know in the comments if you think it's uh, realistic to expect uh, these aircraft and if you agree that. Um, it would be a cool idea or not um, to add that tech tree uh, sub tree anyway to the French tech tree. See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye.